Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to Sin 1700 with Fraser and Aurelia. We are joined today by Laura Ambrulia, who just did a wonderful performance of one of her new songs, Tricks, off of the upcoming album Tomorrow, actually dropping, Scared of You. That's correct. It's pretty Thanks cool for having so, me. Yeah, yeah, welcome to the show. Just sort of um, really wanted to jump straight into the album because it's the thing that's the hot topic for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What do we mean by Scared of You? Like the album artwork, for those who don't know, is kind of is it like... Uh, bed sheet netting, mosquito netting it's, kind it's of thing. It's mosquito net, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so just kind of unpack that a bit for us. Like, what's the kind of concept <laughs> yeah. behind it? Is okay, it, well, yeah. the, the album cover, uh, that photo shoot, I was doing a songwriting residency um, in the middle of the bush in New South Wales. Mm. And uh, so the mosquito net was up because I was being bitten by mosquitoes. And <laughs> I took a photo and put it on Instagram for fun. And one of the other artists, because there's all these homesteads, suggested I retake it with her camera and she would direct me. And so that's mm. the origin of that photo, why it exists. Mm. But then one of the songs, Diptych, references being scared of s someone. And it's more to do with like when you fall in love with someone and you're scared they're going to hurt you or you're mm. both kind of scared of each other mm. in that sense. But there's a whole bunch of different references in different ways of someone frightening you um, or different applications of, of fear in the album. So that's where it comes from and then I looked back at the photo and I was like oh that kind of is interesting because yeah. like you're scared of yeah. the things outside the mesh but then you're wanting yes. to take a photo of the moment as well that's yeah it. yeah mm. um what is your writing process like did you find that for this album it happened mostly during that residency or is this sort of um accumulated over the years things that you've written and are putting out now uh no it's definitely like I didn't start writing this album until that residency which was mm. December 2017 and I wrote about half the album there and then I had half songs and bits and pieces that I um, I then spent another three months working songwriting around my full-time job oh. but yeah I don't really write unless I'm writing for a project so mm. I, I'd had five years off music before that I was gonna ask you about that so what what was this five-year hiatus um, you sort of had I was uh, well I didn't feel like making another album I'd mm. made three and I wasn't ready to start music again yet mm -hmm. and so I made a web series which is called amateur hour so I was making TV for two years nice. it's like a variety show awesome. yeah yeah so you know you know what that's like making it's, <laughs> it's a big job and yeah. it yeah. took over my life and I couldn't do anything else <laughs> yeah um, so you are pretty like multi-talented as a writer, both obviously on TV and music. Um, how did that all start? Was that always something where you're like, I'm going to be a writer or a musician, or did you sort of naturally stumble into it? Uh, I think I've always been really creative. I used to be really into drama and like drama classes and um, and music in high school, and I didn't s get, do very well like. Uh, in music in school like Relatable. I was marked <laughs> yeah but I uh, I did well in drama and then when I got into the real world um, it was actually much easier for me to get gigs playing music mm. playing my own songs than it was for me to get any kind of acting gigs yeah. uh, so I just didn't touch acting again for years or write comedy writing which I liked doing in high yeah. school and I picked it up again for amateur hour but I just you know I like to just keep creative so I'll yeah. switch between the two. When I get bored of one, yeah, I go yeah. back to one. <laughs> that's and that's wonderful. a sort of multi-tiered creative. I always kind of like asking this question with um, especially multidiscipline creative people. How do you define creativity? Like, what does creativity mean to you if someone? It's expression, I guess. Alien? It's it, it's ex expressing yourself in your own unique way. And mm. um, yeah, that's the easiest way to explain it. But it's also kind of therapeutic in, in its own way. I don't know if you get a lot of therapy out of comedy writing, but you can. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be able to laugh at things that are not that funny. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, I guess like the therapy comes from receiving that like laughter and love and feedback from your audiences. Yeah, it's warmth. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Sure. Mm. And just um, on sort of a bit more of the kind of, for people who don't really know a bit, mu a bit much about Laura and Brulia, how would you sort of define oh. your musical style? Oh, it's all over the place. I would say mm -hmm. it's uh, v versatile country, rock, mm. punk, pop. It's a melting pot, yeah. Nice, amazing. <laughs> well, we'll be back with more Laura and Bruleg after the short break. You're here on Sin 1700.